It was the late 19th century, an age of empire and industry. As the world's great powers expanded their reach across oceans and continents alike, a new breed of warfare was taking shape, one which required unprecedented firepower. This is the story of the Hotchkiss Revolving Cannon. Born in 1826, Benjamin Hotchkiss grew up outside of Hartford, Connecticut, establishing an early love for machines at his father's hardware factory. His first foray into firearms development was at the prestigious Hartford Colt factory, where he helped develop the latest in revolver technology. Hotchkiss quickly established himself as a pioneering American gunsmith and ordnance engineer, making significant contributions during the 1850s by creating new rifled artillery projectiles that were widely used in the American Civil War. Following the war, demand for new firearms quickly dried up in America. Seeking a new home for his expanding portfolio of ideas, Hotchkiss went abroad to Paris, France, where he was welcomed with open arms and immediately found himself in high demand. He quickly established the Hotchkiss Company, where he got to work on an idea that would change firearms history forever. Hotchkiss believed that combining artillery and a quick firing mechanism would yield deadly results on the battlefield. After years of testing and experimentation, the Hotchkiss revolving cannon was officially born in 1872, boasting a firing rate of up to 68 rounds a minute and a range of over 2,000 yards. Explosive shells could rain down anywhere on the battlefield, with calibers ranging from 30 37 to 57 mm, they were meant to dominate any battlefield through both speed and precision. Ships armed with them could tear through small boats or fend off torpedo attacks with ease, while land forces used them to support infantry in the ever changing theaters of modern warfare. Lightweight, reliable, and easy to produce, the Hotchkiss wreaked havoc on the battlefield. Although it looks very similar to a Gatling gun, the Hotchkiss is in fact a completely different design, utilizing a single firing pin and an intricate gear system to both load and fire rounds as it's operated. A five round magazine and reliable breech loading mechanism made it both faster and more efficient than any of its contemporaries. In a world where seconds could mean the difference between life or death, the Hotchkiss cannon delivered time after time. Hotchkiss's design soon found its way into the arsenal of many countries, in particular the United States. The US Navy was looking for a new weapon to outfit their ships with, and the Hotchkiss revolving cannon was the perfect match. In a full circle moment, the naval version was built in Hartford, Connecticut by none other than Pratt and Whitney. By the time the First World War exploded across Europe, the Hotchkiss name had become synonymous with effective firepower. It became a staple on everything from early tanks and armored vehicles to destroyers and cruisers. Though eventually outclassed by newer, heavier artillery, Artillery, the legacy of the Hotchkiss cannon lives on as a symbol of industrial integrity and the relentless march of military technology. It didn't just fire shells, it fired a warning shot for the future of warfare. One need not to travel to a museum to see a Hotchkiss cannon in person. Proudly displayed in our Easton, Pennsylvania showroom, Sarko is home to a unique piece of Hotchkiss history. Purchased years ago from an avid military collector, this naval variant is one of those built by Pratt & Whitney for the US Navy. Beautifully restored and mounted on a custom-built carriage for display, it is in excellent condition with fully working internals, truly a testament to Hotchkiss's design and the manufacturing strengths of Pratt & Whitney. So if you're ever passing through the area, don't miss out on a chance to see this unique unique piece of military history. Give us a call or reach out to learn more about our Pratt & Whitney made Hotchkiss revolving cannon. Don't forget to give us a like and comment below on what you would like to see more videos of in the future.